Hi everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be working on some more Etsy and eBay orders. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to show you what I'm working on tonight. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be using my PE800 embroidery machine, my Cricut Maker, and my heat press to work on some orders. I am doing a pug design. Super cute. This is one of like my top sellers. And this person just ordered a lovey size, which is basically a 15 by 18 inch little security blanket. It's perfect for little babies just to chew on, to play with, and to use it to help soothe them. My kid Mason, he loved these little tiny lovey blankets. One side is going to be the minky fabric, and that's going to have the embroidery design and the personalization. And then for the back side of the blanket, I'm gonna do this pug flannel fabric. This is actually just like one of my most popular designs and I ended up making this blanket for a family member and I decided to go ahead and post it on my Etsy to see how it would do and it actually has done very well. So I'm very grateful for that person for um, suggesting me to make this blanket for them because it's been a great seller for me. Okay, some of the items that I will be using tonight is two pieces of fabric for my applique. I have heat and bond light on the back. I have some water soluble stabilizer, my scissors to cut the applique. Um, I got some embroidery vinyl, so it's not HTV, it's more of like a canvas texture. Um, but I got this um, online from actually another embroidery YouTuber. Uh, I believe the website was Kids Custom Designs. She has a bunch of different cute, different types of embroidery vinyl and I prefer it way more than just HTV. So here are my colors that I'm using. I'm using black, um, brown, a like darkish grayish bluish color for the glasses on the pug white and blue and then that is my bobbin thread just in case i need to refill my bobbin okay so for my next order that i'm going to be working on tonight um, this person just ordered two fat quarters of this really adorable disney fabric um, i only actually have one fat quarter of this left so if you think this is cute you should go grab it it's on my ebay um this is i only have basically one left of these so go snag it while you can and then for another order another person ordered this pepperoni pizza fabric and then my next design is for these t-shirts um, they're all personalized um, and it says the boo crew I actually have a video on how I make these shirts so make sure to go check out that video um, just go to my list of videos and you'll be able to see exactly where I made these specific Halloween shirts but yeah, so go check out the video after you're done watching this one. So this person ordered a onesie and a bunch of a 2T, 5T, and a 6T. So I just have a bunch of different cotton t-shirts. And then I'm going to be using orange embroidery vinyl and white embroidery vinyl. And then of course I'll have my Cricut mat. And then to make the HTV stick to the shirts, I'm going to be using my heat press. Okay, so my last video, I actually attempted to multitask while embroidering, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that again tonight. Hopefully I don't have any mistakes. I'm not gonna rush anything, but uh, I'm definitely gonna take my time and try and do more than one item at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my embroidery machine going. Once I have that going, I'm going to get my mat for my Cricut all prepared with my HTV. And then while my embroidery machine is running, I'll have my Cricut machine cut out the vinyl and I'll kind of just babysit both those machines and make sure that everything's running smoothly with those. So let's get started.
so both machines are running right now. So far, everything's looking good. Um, so in the meantime, I'm gonna be uploading a TikTok video. Um, you know, I gotta multitask, right? Okay guys, so my embroidery design is almost done. My Cricut is almost done cutting out all the vinyl. Once both these are done, I'm gonna go ahead and trim on the threads on the blanket and start weeding all of the vinyl. I have a lot of vinyl that I have to weed. Okay guys, so I'm all done weeding out the vinyl, so I'm gonna go ahead and test out um, the design on the black onesie first. Uh, I only have, so this order has um, an order for two six T's, and literally I only have two six T's, and it's been nearly impossible trying to find black onesies, black t-shirts right now, so I gotta make sure that I do it right the first time. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. I have each design all organized together, so I have the onesie one first. I'm going to start with this piece first. So I don't know how much I'm, I'm gonna be able to record of this part because my battery is about to die and I only have one battery. Um, so hopefully I won't be able to get enough of this. Okay, that looks good. I always get so nervous when I'm like low on t-shirts. So my husband's in the background playing video games. I had to tell him to be quiet. So my camera ended up dying, so I didn't get to record any of me heat pressing the shirts, but I'll go ahead and show you how they turned out. Thankfully, I didn't make no mistakes and the shirts came out very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how they turned out. Here are the Boo Crew shirts that are all personalized. Really, 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 really love how these turned out. So now all I have to do is sew that baby blanket and package up these orders and I will be done for the night. It's currently 1.30 in the morning and if you've been watching my videos, I always tell you guys like most of the time I get my work done is when my kids are asleep. So that means that I stay up pretty, pretty late. 
but luckily my kids usually sleep in until 8 so I'll get like a good maybe six hours of sleep which is which is fine I can run on six hours of sleep but the benefits of working from home you can work whenever the time is right for you so for me working at night is the best time for me so that's when I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the sewing machine and finish sewing that baby blanket and then I'll see you guys when I start packaging orders. Okay, so here is the little pug blanket. This is like by far my favorite. I love how the vinyl, the embroidery vinyl is way better than HTV. Um, it's just so cute. And then the back fabric. Super cute. These are perfect for little babies for them to use as a lovey, a security blanket, or you can even use it as a burp cloth. I, When I had my little one, Mason, um, I made a bunch of these for him, and these were perfect as burp cloths. Okay, so I'm really starting to feel it. I'm so tired, so I just need to hurry up and package these orders and call it a night because I am tired. But I've been working really hard. It feels good to work hard, but man, am I tired. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna get everything packaged up. Let's go ahead and do this. officially all done for tonight um, I'm gonna go to bed now I'm super exhausted and I'm gonna have to wake up and do it all over again so I usually work weekends too because my husband's home to be able to watch the kids so it's easier for me to get work done on the weekend so I'll be working on more orders uh, Saturday and Sunday so if I have time I'll try and record it for you guys if not I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a like so YouTube knows to share it with other people. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am trying to reach 250 subscribers for September and I would love for you to be able to join my crew and be able to watch all my videos and not miss any videos that come out. So make sure to subscribe, help me out so I can get to 250 followers and comment down below what other videos you would like to see. I know lately I've been doing just me working on orders and packaging orders. If you wanna see something else, just let me know. If not, I'm just gonna keep doing videos like that. And uh, my next few videos are going to be me working on some samples to add to my inventory, to my Etsy shop, my eBay and to my website. So make sure to keep a lookout for those videos. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when I upload my next video. So make sure to go hit that notification bell. Um, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Well, for me, it's night. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, morning, whatever it is. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.